Hello and welcome to Kenya School of Technology Studies. Now we are going to look at fundamentals of information communication technology, topic an overview of application packages, lesson 10. My name is Jackson. Welcome. The first application package we are going to look at is word processor program. Now under word processor program, we are going to look at creating, opening and saving documents, enhancing text appearance, headers and footers, graphics and mail merging. Starting MS Word program. You need only to click start on the taskbar, go to program, then Microsoft Office, and lastly click Microsoft Office Word 2007. Parts of MS Word window. Number one. Number one is known as title bar. Title bar is the first big strip at the top of the window that contains also the name of the program that you have currently opened. Number two is font style. Number three is vertical scroll bar that helps you to move up and down your page. Number, number four is the vertical scroll bar. That is the one that helps you to move up and down your page. And number three is task pane. Number five is working area or typing area where now you are supposed to type your document. Number six is the task bar. Number seven, status bar. Number eight is vertical ruler. Number nine is standard bar. And standard bar contains shortcut command buttons that you are likely to use when you are running your document. Again, we have number 10, that is menu bar. And menu bar contains the main command buttons that are frequently used almost in every application packages. Let us now look at closing, opening, and saving of a document. When you want to close the window, you need, and uh, already you have opened Microsoft Word program, just click the Office button as it indicated there, then move at the bottom of the down or down window, at that at the bottom, you will see the close folder or a folder named close, and then you need only to click. Or again, in case when you want to open, when you want to open a document or an existing document, you need only to click Office button, then you click Open, and in the Open window, select the file you want to open, and then click Open Command button. When you want to save a document, just click Office button, and in this window for top-down window, go to Save Us and click, then in the Saving window, select the storage location, and then type the name of the file you want to save and then click save page orientation and margin <coughs> page orientation is positioning of the page in relation to the text and uh, margin is blank spaces that actually surrounds the page to see it clearly you need only to click the office button go to print and then click print preview then this is how it will appear printing a document when you want to print a document just click the office button then move to print and click print the print window will appear in this window you can uh, increase or set the number of copies you want from that part of a document or from that page of a document and then finally you click OK. Highlighting text, copy, cut and paste. Highlighting, another name for highlighting is either selecting or block texting. So the first thing you need to type the text, then you can highlight and in case you want to copy, highlight that paragraph, then move on the standard bar, click the copy command button then position the keyboard cursor where you want exactly that paragraph to appear and then finally on the standard bar click the paste command button find and replace in case you want to find a certain text in your document and replace it 
you need only to use the find and replace command button. When you open that uh, window, it will appear like the way it is indicated there. And in the find option, type the word you want to look for in the document. And in the replace with, type the actual word you want to replace the one that actually that is already currently in your document and finally click replace page numbers handers and footers it is always good to number your pages in your document handers and footers handers are just a few words that actually appears on top of every page and uh, footers are just a few words that actually appears at the top or at the bottom sorry at the bottom of every page then we can look at page break page break marks the end of a certain page or the beginning of a new page and you to get it just click on the menu bar click page layout as it is indicated then move to page break select one of your desired choice and then you will see the results this now marks the end of this lesson thanks for reasoning and welcome to word processing part two